Alright, I'm doing a video today on an app called Contact Saver. Uh, this is an app that I mentioned in another video uh, for saving contacts. Uh, the last one was a Chrome extension. This one, however, is for um, saving contacts directly out of my Gmail account. Uh, it does it automatically for you rather than copying uh, and uh, highlighting and then telling it to save each individual contact. This one will do it nicely for you. So uh, it's called Contact Saver. Get this up on the screen here. And it ju doesn't just pull out of email headers. This is going to pull information from your uh, email signatures on emails in your inbox. So it searches through your inbox, finds email signatures, and uh, saves that information in the appropriate category uh, into your Google Contacts. So um, this is the, uh, the descriptor. I mean, it kind of shows you what the app looks like, but I'm going to open it up here for you. Uh, but it's worked out. It's worked out great for me, um, as I've been trying to hunt down a number of contacts. You can see in the bottom there, I've got like 4,400 unread emails, um, and that's something uh, that is caused by the number of listservs that I am a uh, a member of. But it also gives me a lot of contacts to save to my uh, Google Contacts, which eventually gets synced to my phone. It takes a little bit of time, but uh, it gets the job done. So I'm going to log in here. All right, so now that I've logged in, uh, it pops up with the contacts for me to review. Um, these are just the most recent ones that it has come up with. Uh, I can select all and save, select all and ignore, uh, or I can each open each individual one and see what uh, what it has for me here. Um, I mean, you can search through if there are a lot of them. Here, I've recently saved contacts, so uh, there's only two for you to see. Um, but you can see that it saves a lot of information: title and company, phone, mobile, fax, uh, emails, uh, two different uh, mailing addresses. Uh, so it's it certainly pulls down a lot of information and classifies that information. Uh, appropriately saves it to your Google Contacts, and then you have it for um, uh, for use in your phone. I've been putting together a couple seminars where I need to track down attorneys uh, and judges from all over, and uh, being members of Liftservs with the people that I need to reach. Now their phone number is right in my contacts. So what I do is I log into say this Liftservs email account on my Gmail, um, but Contact server will only pull from this inbox. In order to get inboxes from my other accounts, I simply log out, log back in with the other account, and now it's pulling down contacts from that one too. So we're just going to hit select all. We're going to save it. All right. Let's see if we made that work. So here we are. It tells me that I've saved 70, 78 contacts saved to date, um, and that's just from this one Gmail account. Uh, those are contacts that will show up uh, in my phone um, once it all syncs up. So uh, there you go. It's, it, it's great for adding contacts. Now those are 78 contacts where I did not have to type them into my Google contacts. It did it all nicely for me. Uh, it added to existing contacts. It didn't create duplicates. Um, and I've, I really haven't had a problem with this app at all. It's been very useful. Over the past couple of weeks, I've probably used it 10 to 12 times. Uh, and found it extremely convenient to have those right there uh, in my contacts rather than digging through email accounts for an email that I received from somebody from two years ago and I hope their number's still good. So um, uh, there you go. I hope it's something that helps you in your practice as it's certainly been helping me.